So I went crabbing and I took some pictures from my trip. Here I am out on my kayak. I caught this crab. Look at him bubble. I'm going to eat him later. He wasn't very happy about being caught, but I was. So let's cook these crabs he caught. I caught like about a dozen here. I'll take them to my steamer. And from there, I'll show you how to pick them. Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you how to pick this crab I caught today with one claw, this poor guy. So at first, I was taking photos, and then I realized, what am I doing? I should film this and make a video about it and show everybody how to do it. So just for the photos part, I took a butter knife and flipped down the abdomen right here, as you can see. And once you flip it, it's real easy to just pry it off with your thumbs and pull it off cleanly. And what this does is it, allow it allows us to separate the top of the shell of the crab from the crab's body. Now that the abdomen's gone, it's time to take off the top shell so we can clean out all the guts and the lungs and stuff we don't want to eat in the crab. So see how I pry my thumb and my other thumb underneath the back end? You just pry and pull, and that'll open up the guts, and then you can pull off the crab's mouth right here. I like to use my thumb and push down and pull down, like a little prying method, and that just takes off the mouth right there. You clean it up a little bit. And then you're left with the lungs, the guts, and the mustard. Right now we're going to start with the lungs. I take my thumb and just scrape it off and throw it on my discard pile. Next up you have the other side of the crab, same amount of lungs. Sometimes there's a little flap over it, just pull that off as well. That's from the top carapace of the crab. Just take your thumb and scrape it away. Your hands are going to get a little dirty. I recommend having a bowl of water to dip your hands or a sink nearby just to rinse your hands off. Now that the lungs are gone, it's time to scrape away the guts. What I do is a little gross, but I just take my thumb and scrape down and away from the crab. It takes all the guts out with it, all the intestines, stuff you don't want to eat, inedible, and leaves a healthy amount of mustard on the crab. I found some on my finger right here. Some people like it, some people don't. You can rinse your crab out under the sink if you don't prefer it. I leave a healthy amount of my crab as I do here, and I'm just pulling away little pieces of the shell to make a clean looking crab for you guys. I just cleaned up the crab a little bit here, but all we're left with now is just straight meat. And I personally like to split the crab in half here. That way you can see all the meat in the middle, and the, I just pulled off a little bit right here. See this body meat? It comes right out. You can put that aside, you can eat it as you go, whatever you want. And now we're left with just the body meat. What I like to do, I like to do a little trick where I pull the meat away from the body. And the trick here is to grab the base of the leg where it connects to the body or stick your finger in the cavity in the body and pull away. You kind of want to line your fingers with the meat. The meat was a muscle at one point, so like imagine the muscle goes towards the leg, you separate it with your finger and pull away. And that'll leave a big chunk of meat on top of the leg itself, which is great. The leg acts as a little handle per se, and you can dip it in butter, Old Bay, whatever. Right now I'm just clearing the shells away from the meat. It never really comes out perfect, but once you get the shells out of the way, it just turns into a big clump of meat that's really fun to show off and really fun to dip in, in dips. Right now I'm having a hard time getting the shell away from the meat, not the best example, so I'm just eating it as I go. But that's kind of the fun part about picking crabs. You can really do it whichever way you want. And all that matters is that you're at, is that you're at the table picking crabs, having a good time. But now that I'm past the body meat for this leg, let's let's get towards the claw. This is actually a claw. I've been missaying this part of the crab this whole time, turns out. But I'm going to show you how to get into the meat that's in the claw. It's a sweeter type of meat than it is in the body. Right now I'm trying the pry method, but I guess I cooked this crab a little too long. Um, the meat didn't really stick to it as I pulled, so I'm going to pull out my knife and do the trick. You line up the knife in the middle. You can crack it. I'm doing a terrible job here. But try to like hit the crab in the middle and that'll weaken the shell so you can pry it and snap it like a Kit Kat bar but right now I'm frustrated so I'm going to hit it again and again and shake my camera and be an embarrassment to all crabbers out here and pull it apart oh the most unclean thing with little bits of shell on my meat am I even qualified to make this video I don't think so but little bits of meat in there I blame the crab oh well I'm going to use my knife to pry it out and if I was at the crab picking table right now, my extended family would make fun of me because they've been doing this for longer than I've been alive. But they're not the ones with the website. I am. Check out crabbinghub.com if you haven't already. Shameless plug. All right, let's move on to the rest of the legs. We still have three legs and the fins. I'm sorry, two legs and the fins. And I'm going to just use the same idea of pulling the leg away from the body and take the meat inside the body with it. The reason why I do this is because if you separate the body from the legs, it's really difficult to get the meat out 
in big solid clumps like you do. You have to pick between each cavity, and it's no fun. But here, see, look, I just pulled, I just pulled away a big chunk of meat. And I'm getting rid of a little bit of shell because I'm very nitpicky. But you can easily just bite that off the leg, dip it in whatever. Come on, look at that. Look at that pile of meat. I took a bite of that. That was really good. Now you're left with a little bit of leg here, and of course, I tried pulling the meat out by the little prying method. Nothing came out, that's just the cartilage, so I tossed it because I don't have time for these little legs. You can try pulling them open, you get a little bit of meat in there. Some people will crucify me for saying this, but I don't always have the patience for those little legs. You don't get much out of it. I prefer the claws, the legs. Now this is where this trick really shines. I'm left with only the fin. And this is what the crab used to swim uses to swim through the water. So that means a lot of the meat leads up towards the fin, which means you're going to get a lot of meat from this one little trick. Look how much meat came from that. I just ate that. That's a big clump of crab meat. You can eat it, save it, but all the muscles line up to where the fin is because the crab needs it to swim. And from there, you just get a big chunk of meat. And now I'm working with the knuckle. And this is a fun little trick. It's really soft. This is a soft part of the crab, so you can squeeze it. Let me, let me separate it real quick so I can show you. You squeeze it, and a bunch of meat just pops out. It's really satisfying. That if you could focus, you could see I just squeeze a knuckle and a bunch of little meat came out. It's good. It tastes like what you would get from the claw. It's like a sweeter meat than it is in the body, but I love it nonetheless. And here I am just getting the rest of the meat out of the, out of the shell. All I do is separate the shell in the middle, pry out the meat with my finger or a knife. Well, there you go. That's how you pick a blue crab and get as much meat out of it as possible. Both sides of the crab are the same. They're symmetrical, so I'm not going to show you the other end, the other side. But from that, you can get an idea of how to separate the meat from the body and pick the legs and just pull the meat out. I hope seeing me do it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.